Hey guys, it's Rachel. What's up? Welcome back. And today we are tackling one of the biggest food trends right now, which is edible cookie dough. Edible meaning you can eat it without getting salmonella because there's no raw flour and there's no eggs in it. When I first heard about this trend, I wasn't sure about it. I thought it would be a lot to eat just plain cookie dough. But then I tried out a recipe and it is so, so good, you guys. I promise you, if you try it out, you're gonna love it unless you're the kind of person that doesn't like eating the cookie dough from the bowl, in which case, it's an interesting choice to click on this video, but you're welcome to stay regardless. Anyways though, I love this cookie dough recipe. I did a lot of testing with this. I'm pretty sure I'm like 15% cookie dough now, but totally worth every calorie just to get the perfect recipe for you guys. I'm really excited about these and excited for you guys to try them out at home. But before we get started, make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on notifications for new videos every single week. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. First up, let's make the classic chocolate chip cookie dough. So to start off, you'll need a half cup of flour, and then just to make sure you don't get salmonella, you'll want to pop that in the microwave at 30 second intervals just until it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And just like that, you have some heat treated flour that you can eat by the spoonful if you really wanted to. I don't recommend it. Moving on to the rest of the dry ingredients, you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, which does make a slight difference in the flavor, along with an eighth teaspoon of salt, and then just give that all a whisk. Next up, in a separate bowl, you're going to need a half stick of nice soft butter. Then I'll add in three tablespoons of brown sugar and three tablespoons of white sugar. And then just go on in there and give that all a mix, get it all combined, and I'm also breaking up any clumps of brown sugar. Then I'll add in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that all through. Next up, pour in a tablespoon of milk just to get it nice and smooth and creamy. And now you can just toss in your dry ingredients and give that all a mix. But before that gets fully combined, you'll want to add in your mix-ins. And for the classic chocolate chip cookies, you'll just want to add in a quarter cup of chocolate chips. Give that a mix, and just like that, your cookie dough is finished. Dig in, grab a spoonful, eat the whole thing, whatever you're feeling. Next up is my favorite one, the peanut butter cup cookie dough is amazing. So for this one, you'll want to whip up your regular batch of wet ingredients, and then just add in three tablespoons of melted peanut butter, or almond butter if you're feeling trendy. Toss in your dry ingredients as per usual, and then add in some chopped up peanut butter cups. And just continue mixing until it's combined, and this is amazing, I can't even tell you. It's like peanut butter on steroids. It's so good, you guys. It's nutty, it's got the salt to balance it out, and with those chunks of peanut butter cup in there, oh my gosh, I'm addicted, I love it. And now let's make the unicorn sugar cookie dough. So for your sugar cookie base, same base recipe for the wet ingredients, except no brown sugar, and instead add in five tablespoons of white sugar. And then for our unicorn effect, I'm just gonna scoop heaping tablespoons of batter into three separate cups. And we're going to color these with some gel food color. So I made a pink one, a blue one, and a purple one. It's also kind of like a galaxy look, depending on how you see it. And then it's time to swirl these all together. So I'll just add these to my bowl, toss in a tablespoon of some beautiful sprinkles, and go ahead and swirl that through. You don't want to mix it too much here, you still want those beautiful marbles of color. So pretty and so tasty. Moving on, let's make the Nutella S'mores cookie dough. For this guy, add three tablespoons of Nutella into your wet ingredient base, and you can also reduce the sugar by a tablespoon because Nutella does have sugar in it already. We're trying to be healthy here, after all. Just kidding, add in a quarter cup of mini marshmallows now, along with some chopped up graham crackers, and go ahead and mix that all through. Delicious. And last but not least, the Funfetti birthday cake. To kick this off, you'll wanna chop up some birthday cake Oreos. These are my favorite kind, so addicting. Oh my gosh, love these. And you'll just wanna mix this into your cookie dough, along with a tablespoon of rainbow sprinkles, cause it just looks pretty. And then to make this a little more Funfetti and colorful, I'm gonna scoop out a dollop of cookie dough and color that pink. And once you swirl this into your cookie dough, it definitely gives it more of a fun birthday kind of vibe. And then to pack these up, I wanted them to look just like the place in New York. So I got these cups at Daiso, but I'll leave a link to a similar one on Amazon down below. And I'll just go ahead and paint this with some acrylic paint. You could also buy colored treat cups, but what's the fun in that? I also just like these colors, so I painted my own. And then I also designed these labels in Photoshop, link to them down below, along with some blank labels so you can add on your own initials. You can take credit for them because I love you guys. And now for the best part, it is time to eat them. Minus this rainbow one, by the way. I cut that one because it looks kind of like Play-Doh. But now I'll just go ahead and scoop these up. Realistically, I would probably just go for one scoop, but they look so much cuter overflowing, so I did three. 
Afterwards, you can just go ahead and garnish these with cookies, sprinkles, mini chocolate chips, graham crackers, really whatever goes with the dessert, just for that over-the-top look. Also, I thought you guys might be wondering what happens when you bake them, so I went ahead and baked some. And you know what? They're actually pretty good. I know these look kind of crazy, but essentially the texture is not exactly what I would like it to be, but the flavor is actually really good. So there you go. But that is our edible cookie dough. No need to wait in like a two or three hour line to get it. Make it at home, super tasty, choose your own mix-ins, and it's really fun to do. And now that our cookie dough is finished, let's hop into the outro. All right guys, our edible cookie dough is finished now. So good, and I hope you give it a try. And if you like this video, make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on notifications for new videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats. The Etsy sticker shop is right up there, and my last video is right down there. All right, well, take care, guys. Love you all so much, and I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye, guys.